my favorite place to go You're at the end of my favorite road Above the rest, you're the best I know shade of rose A flower bed on my favorite stones I love the ground where your roots have grown You're my favorite place Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you everything I eat in a day while camping. We're out camping with our friends Matt and Anna. And what lake is this? Rimrock. Rimrock Lake. It's very beautiful. Dylan prepped us some cold brew coffee, so we're just drinking that right now. And I actually prepped a lot of our food today to make cooking easier. So I'll show you all the meals we're going to eat and how we're going to prepare them. So for breakfast, I prepped some muesli and we're also having an apple. I already took a bite out of my apple because uh, I was hungry. But muesli is really easy to prep. We just kept it in our cooler. Um, I have a recipe for this on my blog, but you can basically put whatever you want in it. Muesli is great because it's super versatile. It's nice and creamy. We made it with hemp milk and it's just a mix of oats and different nuts and seeds. So it's a nice filling breakfast and you can make it as thick or as runny as you want. So this is what we're going to be eating. So we are currently on the lake. Dylan brought his inflatable raft boat thing. I'm wearing my swimsuit, just, you know, avoiding tan lines. Dylan, oh my God. <laughs> we almost lost the oar. It <laughs> just flicked off. Stuck at sea. Ooh, that would have been rough. Our campsite is back there. So, I mean, we could have swum there, theoretically. I would prefer not to. Thanks for rowing, Dylan. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't want to lose my oar. <laughs> Oof. For a swim. Oh. There's what? There's seaweed. He's a seaweed. Sorrow. Honestly, it's really deep. Go swim. I think Go it's swim. not that deep. I feel seaweeds, or maybe it's fishies nipping at my feet. I'm still peeing. Okay, I'm finished peeing. We got. So we're back from our boat adventure and now we're making lunch. We're going to have sushi bowls. We made some rice last night for dinner. So we're just going to be using the leftovers of that. Sorry, my hands are so dirty, but you know, um, that's kind of what camping entails. And then here I pre-sliced some cucumber and carrot to make it nice and easy uh, before we left the house. And then here I pre-baked some tofu and some sweet chili sauce. So we're going to combine all of these. And then I actually also sliced up some shiitake mushrooms. Uh, and then I marinated them, so they're raw, but I marinated them in some tamari, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra sauce in it. So I figured we could use that in our sushi bowls as well. And then I also still brought some tamari, some chili oil uh, for condiments. And Dylan and I are also going to share a kombucha. It's a wild blueberry kombucha. So we got our bowls. Now we're gonna assemble. Look at that beauty. So we got our rice, mushrooms, uh, cucumber. Well, I already went through this with you, so I'm not gonna say it again. I would say I breaded the tofu and it got a little mushy sitting in the bag. So lesson learned for next time, I'll probably just marinate it or I won't give it a breading because um, we wanna eat it cold and it would've gotten soggy. So I dumped everything on top and this is going to be our lunch. So 
as you guys know, I am pretty much never about faking my life and making it seem like it's perfect or great. So I wanted to take a moment to have a real talk with you guys. So we got here, both of us, last Friday night and we made dinner. We had a campfire, it was really nice. Um, and then Dylan and I temporarily first put Lily and Maya in our tent and Lily had eaten some toilet paper left from another human earlier in the day. So while they were in the tent, Lily puked three times in our tent and then Maya peed on our bed. So she peed on one of our sleeping bags, our big sleeping bag, our mattress cover, and our quilt. <laughs> so luckily the mattress cover was waterproof, but we were pretty much left with one, one person size sleeping bag for two people and our mattress and then like two towels. It was a um, rough night. So we didn't sleep really well last night, but we were still able to make it work. Luckily, dogs are good personal heaters too. So I just cuddled with Lily. Dylan was pretty cold, but whatever. Um, so, and then today, during the day, Indy, Anna and Matt's dog, somehow ran off. And we're honestly not really sure what happened. Um, we think she ate something. So basically, they decided it's better to be safe than sorry and to take Indy to the vet. She was acting really groggy. Um, luckily they pretty much slept in their van because uh, they lived in their van for a little over a year. So they were just able to pack up and go really quickly. So Dylan and I are staying here. Um, but then Maya got in our tent again today and peed on our mattress, the one without the cover. So we cleaned it up a little, but based off of everything that happened last night and kind of what happened today, we just decided that we're going to pack everything up now. And instead of spending the night here, we're just going to drive home, but we're still going to stay here. Um, cook dinner and have some s'mores before we hit the road and then just we're about like two and a half hours away from our house so we'll just get home a little later take a shower and then go to bed and then maybe unpack in the morning I don't know maybe Dylan will make us unpack late at night but I'd rather just unpack in the morning what huh what okay so that's what? the real life update say? I said let's just unpack tomorrow and well just... yeah that was the plan because it's gonna be super I, late I thought you were gonna try to get us unpacked late at night yeah unpack some things but okay okay and unpack the pee so now what I think we're going to do is start to pack up our campsite as much as we can and pack it in the van obviously we're gonna need some stuff out because we still have to make dinner I think if we have enough time Dylan and I are gonna try to do like a 30 minute workout just because it'll probably feel good to move our bodies a little bit um but that's that. Dylan wants to show you guys his uh, winning archery skills. Don't worry, Maya's not in danger. Who's a spin and shoot? Princess Lily. You gotta do bigger fan movements than that. Yeah, give Maya some of that action. She says it's not good enough for her. Hi, Moo. Oh, what's this microplastic doing? Gotta throw that shit away. We are starting our campfire. I told Dylan we didn't need a big one because we just really need it for s'mores. But then he found this massive log. Like, <laughs> oh, look how huge that is. That's crazy. Well, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> At least it'll keep the mosquitoes away. So here is our setup for dinner. We're going to be making my one pot pasta uh, from my blog. It's a perfect camping recipe and it's really easy to modify with whatever veggies you have on hand. So we got our dry pasta and then I divided my veggies. So first I'm going to put in the veggies that I want to soften more. So in here I have some garlic, onion, olives, red bell pepper, and a little bit of oregano. And then I'm gonna cook that in the pasta sauce first. This is um, some rouse pasta sauce and you also have a little vegetable broth so I just put the veggie bouillon paste right in the jar. Um, you can just add water and boil everything together but I'm actually going to saute these in a little bit of olive oil first just to bring out more flavor and then right before serving 
in this bag I have some Romanesco that I chopped as well as some baby spinach oh and uh, I haven't mentioned it before but in case you're wondering these are called stasher bags they're reusable silicone bags they're dishwasher safe uh, they have a really good seal on them so we can put them in our cooler even if there's a lot of standing water in it and they stay nice and dry so I'm gonna get this started This is the final product. As you can see, the sauce thickens up a lot. The starch from the pasta helps too. So I have my bowl, Dylan has his bowl. We're going to enjoy this by our kind of dying fire, which is perfect because afterwards we're gonna make some vegan s'mores. Actually, Caitlin, let's enjoy it over there looking at the... Okay, we can have one last uh, thing by the water. And cute dog. Vegan marshmallows, graham crackers, chocolate. They could be a little better. I think they're perfect. Cheers. I'm going to show you how to make perfect marshmallows. You're going to want some embers. So first, you're going to take your marshmallows. You're going to push them down enough where they're not going to fall off the top. Then you go straight upside down to start. It'll make sense in the next uh, part of this video. So now that you've got the tops beautiful and golden, you're gonna take the marshmallow, pull it back off, push it back through, make sure that it's the exact same hole, back down enough again to where it's not gonna slide off if you put it upside down. Wow. This is how you get marshmallow perfectly golden all the way around. Now that we've got the tops and the bottoms both perfectly golden, we're gonna to go to the sides. Make sure you're far enough away where you're not gonna burn it, but close enough to where you're going to get it going. And you just take your time with this, rotate when you need to. You sound like you're teaching a yoga this class is, right now. This is the this is the long process. Sometimes when you hold sometimes when you hold the pose for a little longer. <laughs> just kidding. Now, as you can see, most of the marshmallows are perfectly golden. Last step, we're just gonna rotate the insides out so we can get that last little bit. We'll toast those up and then we'll be good to go. In the meantime, you can feed dog s'mores to your dogs, AKA dog treats. Down, down, good girl. Okay, time for the final reveal. So, that is how you make let's perfectly close in on these babies okay let's let's get a rotation perfectly wow. golden marshmallows all the way around if you want to know more about s'more secrets you can like download... subscribe well i was gonna say you can download dylan's ebook it's called vegan s'mores forever just kidding that doesn't exist no dang look at that that looks perfect wow Graham cracker sandwich. All right, I'll do I'll do the mush on this so you can see. I'm gonna mush as I pull it off so I can pull everything off. Oh. Dang. You gotta do taste test now. Oh, that one slid down. <laughs> look at those hands, those dirty hands. Wow, look at those mm. strings. It's not a s'more if it's not messy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wanna eat mine now. So that concludes this what I eat in a day video as vegan while camping and getting nice and dirty. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more outdoorsy themed videos. Maya's not interested in being held anymore, I don't think. So that's it for that. Like, subscribe, comment, buy a little some more ebook. Just kidding. Hope you're having an awesome day and continue to have one. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Peace. You are my favorite place to go. You're at the end of my favorite road. Above the rest, you're the best.